Welcome to the CoreLogic review of Data Co-op. This review is intended to familiarize you with the basic features and functions found in the Data Co-op application. The Data Co-op is a customizable solution for your MLS, and as such, certain options may or may not be available in your specific area's configuration. When an option feature is discussed that may not be available in your version, you will see the magnifier symbol appear on the screen. Let's begin. The first question you might have is, what is the data co-op? Currently, you enter listing data into a database that is shared with other agents in your immediate area. This action is repeated all over the country from one MLS to another. The data co-op works as a repository for yours and neighboring MLSs looking to share listing data. Each MLS contributes their listings to the pool of listings in the database. That database is then open to all that contribute and or choose to also provide access. For many, the data co-op is merely an alternative way to search and view their native MLS data. For others, the data co-op will act as a method to assist a client that may require basic listing data for properties that fall just outside of your normal MLS boundaries or access to listing data for areas with strong retirement, relocation, or vacation markets. For a complete suite of customer relation and data management tools, your primary MLS will continue to be your best solution. The Data Co-op is not an MLS replacement. To access the Data Co-op, your MLS has provided you with a shortcut from within your primary MLS system. This ensures that all users of the Data Co-op are active subscribers of an MLS and that local MLS business rules are maintained. The first time you access the Data Co-op, you will find that the map search is not centered on any particular location. The Data Co-op application will remember your last search. Therefore, to set up a default map view and area search, you merely need to enter that information and log out. Any computer you log into will remember your last activity. The Data Co-op uses a basic set of criteria for all users. These are not customized to any particular MLS, but does contain the top property characteristics that are searched on by all MLSs. Your specific MLS data has been mapped to an available data co-op criteria. This means no guessing when trying to determine how another MLS has described a basic property feature. To search for listings, just move the map to the location you would like to search or enter the search criteria for your search, or both. The address field is really a quick way to drill down to a specific address, but it will also navigate you to points of interest that should be helpful when searching for locations near employers, universities, or places of leisure. Remember when entering criteria, click the Update Results button for an accurate calculation of your results. The number of listings on map reference the number of listings that are displayed within the current map view and are the only listings that will be retrieved. The number next to matches refers to all of the listings that match your entered criteria. To increase the results that can be retrieved, merely expand your map view. To view a preview of a specific property, hover over the map point for that property. To view a preview of all your results, click on the List tab. Results are listed in a summary view format. You have the ability to sort by listing characteristics and move through sets of results by selecting the page to view at the bottom of the screen. The print option will result in a summary style report. Review and Compare gives you the ability to conduct a side-by-side -side comparison of selected results. Mm -hmm. 
scroll over summary images for a larger view of the primary listing image. Clicking on the summary image not only links you to detailed property data, but also enables you to ping the property location on the map and add it to a list of favorites for later viewing. Clicking anywhere else in the property data also links you to property details. The property details screen is comprised of a series of gadgets. These gadgets contain listing data and can include public records, demographics, and advanced AVMs in some instances. Gadgets can be moved to suit your needs, and the Data Co-op will remember your preference. To view more detailed information contained in any of the displayed gadgets, click either on the gadget header or the information contained within. Let's take a look at some of the detailed data available from your gadgets. The top of the detailed information screen contains several important shortcuts and productivity tools created to assist you with the wealth of data you now have access to. The Favorites tab contains those listings previously set aside as favorites. To remove listings from the Favorites tab, click the thumbnail photo and select Remove from Favorites. The Recently Viewed option is an automatically generated list of properties you recently viewed detail information for. This is particularly helpful when trying to retrieve property data from a previous search that was not saved. The Options tab gives you the ability to specify defaults for your data set. Simply choose which statuses and what MLSs you want to be incorporated in your searches. This has been a review of the Data Co-op.